Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we have a little bit of an advanced tutorial. We're going to learn how to make a menu bar with div tags, HTML, and CSS. I have a little example right now to show you exactly what we're going to do. This is the kind of thing that we're going to make. So as you can see, you can hover over it, they change colors, it's within a div tag, you have HTML here, you have CSS counteracting with it. So if you're interested in how to make something like this, a horizontal menu bar, then follow along and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Dreamweaver, we're going to create a new HTML, and we're going to go File, New, and create a new CSS. So create that too. And now let's name both of these. So for the CSS, go File, Save As. Let's just call that Style.CSS. And then for your HTML, go File, Save As. And I'm going to call mine Index. You can call yours whatever you want. So now we need to put that CSS file into our HTML. So in order to do that, make sure you're in Code View today, guys. We're going to be coding. So after your head tag, give me a triple click go up one and I'll come right here where you have style.css click and drag that between the head tags and now your CSS file will counteract with your HTML file so now what we're going to do is we're going to start typing in our div tag that our uh, menu bar is going to go within so after your body tag it's going to go within our body tags to a triple enter go up one and now we're going to start typing in the code for our div tag so I'm just gonna tell you what to type and then I'm going to explain it afterwards so let's make our div tag so give me an open little arrow and then type in div space ID equals quotation toolbar quotation close arrow open arrow close backslash so now you have your div tag. This is the first div tag you've ever made. Basically, I'm going to explain what this means. You have the div, which basically says that it's going to be a div tag. Then you have the ID name, so obviously ours is named toolbar, and then you close the div tag. That is it. And this is basically going to be a container for everything that we're going to be making. If you're not familiar with div tags, basically they're exactly what I just said. They're just containers for things that you can put into them. So, now we're going to put the things that we want in them. So, between the um, open and the closed div tag, between those two arrows, type in enter a couple times, and now we're going to fill our container. What are we going to fill it with? We're going to fill it with an unordered list. So, um, give me a tab, and um, open up those arrows, type in UL, and close those arrows. Then do a uh, triple enter. And then open up those arrows again and do a backslash. So now we have our unordered list, and we're going to start putting things in that unordered list. The things we're going to put in there are the things that you are going to see on the screen. So you saw in the previous one how we had like home, and then it's a Dreamweaver and whatever. Now we're going to make those things that you are going to physically see on the screen, and we are going to make the links for them as well. So uh, just follow me along, and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So this first one, I'm just going to tell you what to type. So just follow along and I'll explain it afterwards again. So open up those arrows, give me LI, close that arrow, and then open it up again and type in A space H ref equals quotation, do a little um, number sign, and then quotation again, and then type in the close arrow, and then type in the um, name of what you want to be seen on the screen. So I'm going to type in home. And open up those arrows again and do a backslash to close the A. Open up the arrows again and do a backslash to close the LI. So what we have here is our first list object. We have a link right here, which is that ahref, which will basically take you wherever you want when you click that home. So the people are going to click this home sign and they're not going to go anywhere because we put a pound in here. But say if we uh, put google.com or index.html or something like that, when they would click that home sign, that is where they would go. So let's do an enter. And in this enter sign, we are basically going to copy this. Let's do a command and control C and click down there and do a command and control V. Click below, command and control V. Click below, Command and Control V. And let's do another one, Command and Control V. So now we have five separate objects. So let's rename all of these. So let's call the, the second home Dreamweaver. The third one, Photoshop. The next one, Flash. And let's call the last one, Bridge. 
So as you can see with all of these, if I wanted to take my users somewhere, I would basically just get rid of this number sign. I would just type in like Dreamweaver dot html and they would go to my dreamweaver page so i'm just going to keep this pound sign here because i don't really have anywhere for these people to go so this is all we're going to do in today's tutorial we made our div tag and in the next tutorial in part two we're going to put in everything that we need for the css to make it look make it have that hover effect do all those things so uh, thank you for watching this has been part one this is chris carrington with gmustudent.com and i hope this tutorial was useful